What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Moana. And I'm Alex. And we're Real Talk with BB and today we're going to be checking out Fleabag Season 2, Episode 1. Let's get into it. Alright guys, welcome back. If you're here from Season 1, we are finally checking out Season 2 and I am extremely excited. I know that there was some mysteries that we left off in the last season, like what was going on with the mom and the dad. And I know that me and you kept talking about this show nonstop, even when we were off camera. So I believe that's how we knew that we really enjoyed it. It was it was really, really good. So finally, we're checking out season two. Thank you to those of y'all who are really excited, leaving all those notes in the comments and on our polls, letting us know that you wanted us to get around to it. And here we are. I'm excited to see where it goes. What about you? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> I was just telling him this one of my favorite shows that we've watched on the channel. I've been ready for season two. I wanted to jump straight into season two, but we just had so much other stuff that we knew that we had to get into and other people were waiting as well. But I'm very excited that we are getting back to this and I want to definitely get to know a little bit more about the mom and the dad's relationship as well as um, a little bit more about Fleabag and the sister. It didn't end on the most happiest note. note. I know. Yeah, so I was very upset about that and I still hate freaking Harry Henry who that bitches. <laughs> I hate him. Yeah, same. I know one of our comments that we got pretty early back, I think in like episode three or something like that from the first season talked about how this second season would answer some of our questions that we had, but also that the season was more like ethereal and dreamlike. So I'm curious if it's not gonna be like fourth Wally or like maybe there's like almost like a different vibe to the whole second season. So like it had my interest peaked going into this next one, having that comment dropped on us a little bit early. Yeah, no, I've heard nothing but really good um, things about the second season. I actually hear it's a lot of people's favorite mm. season. Um, and, and it feels a bit like a fever dream is what I've heard. There so you go, I, that was I'm the excited. wording. Is fever dream, yeah, and, and and we love the first season, so we're we're super excited to get into it, guys. All right, guys. Well, before we get into it, we just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe, especially the like, especially the subscribe. It lets us know that you're enjoying the content on the channel. It moves our content through the algorithm, and it lets us know that you would like for us to continue flea bag on the channel. But other than that, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. It's your favorite character. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa that, that's very Asian specific. Person. I love that. Thank you. Oh my god, oh. girl. Who the fuck is you? Her sister. I hope not. Well, it better be her sister and not no damn man. Oh, girl. Oh, she got her ass beat too. Okay, you still got blood, girl. This is a love story. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> you know when you've done everything? When you've been all... And... Eating right. Even. Do you want to have sex? No. no. Boundaries. Good. Healthy. Go down on you. <laughs> you don't even think about... And even though your sister still hates you... Thank you. You're pretending to be friends because your dad is. Excuse oh my me, God. what? He died? Oh. To love. Wait, what? That's what I said. Grieving? Uh, well, Congratulations, you assholes. <laughs> I hate that that guy's still there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm uncomfortable for you. Uh, are all together here for a. Uh... That's how I talk. Family, uh, <laughs> gang bang. Um, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to the that. family gang bang. Uh, th th so I just want to say, yeah, very much. Mm. And that's it. <laughs> I wonder why the dad has such a hard time. Congratulations! Cheers. May these you. be the worst of our day. Expressing himself, or if it's like a generation thing. Happy for you, old boy. Best decision a man can. Well, I'm also wondering if maybe there's something wrong with the dad. Oh, because of that earlier scene. Hmm. Uh, can I get a glass of sparkling water with a dash of lime, please? Oh yes, I'll have the same. Dream team. <laughs> you know the most fat. Ew. Father here, as that his mother was originally a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I need to smoke when she started talking too. Is there a reason that you're not drinking? He's an alcoholic. Oh, fun. My parents are alcoholics. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun. I feel like you could have put two and two together, dude. Like you're a priest. We thought you couldn't have them. What? Why? Well, you just seem a little. Well, they say. Ew. Change are you him. pregnant? Oh, here we go. Oh, that is so exciting, though. Oh, thanks, sir. So good luck. That's wonderful. Something's up. And now you have the money to pay. Yeah, me too. I agree fully, babe. Push the company forward. You know, I can't really... remember the last time we went away. Well, weren't you both in Japan recently? Japan? Can you just cut her off? It's just a little fortnight. <laughs> Don't ask her. Why were you in Japan? Well, I was. The... Oh, sorry, darling. Oh, no, no. No, no. Thank you. Um, Ugh. No one's asked me a question in 45 minutes. So what do you do? Uh, I run a cafe. Uh oh. 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 It's going well, is it? Yes, it is. Stop looking at each other like that. He's a priest. It actually is. Hey, I love that for you. It is. <laughs> Can I get anyone any ice? <laughs> yeah, I feel you, girl. I feel the tension, like, through the screen. So do your family get together much, or...? All right. I gotta, I gotta get away from you, bro. <laughs> Did you always want to join the priesthood? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I came quite late to it, actually. But it's been a really good life to me. I've really found peace in it. Is anyone in I'm wondering if he had some of the same issues that she did before he made his decision. Must be hard on the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Not as hard on them as trying to make a baby for five months, I imagine. Food good? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a real priest? Yeah. Are you sure? So nice spending time <laughs> getting to know the man who's going to marry us. Is that usual? No, but I'm new to the, the parish and uh, I guess I'm just... Um, there's some really, really good chemistry happening with these two. New to the bank. Father Patrick sadly died, so I, I got the gig. What did he die of? Just um, a time. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> time. Do you want to know what gift I'm giving your father? Oh, God. It's a portrait. Oh, God. A My self vagina. portrait? Oh, God. That's what you have to say. <laughs> right. Can't use photos. No, because the lighting's never good enough. And if you're not very photogenic, then it does you no favors. Bitch. The photos there are of you two together are of when you were children. And you look like a boy, so. You never told me you had a sister. There. That's OK, girl. Me too. <laughs> do, you, do you see your brother? Oh, I don't really speak to my brother. Oh, God, how desperately sad. Why is that? <clears throat> oh, um, well. No, you, don't, you don't have No, to. no, that's okay. Does he not approve of what you do of your choices? No, no, it's not that. It's not that. Is he, is he not in the church? No, he's not in the church. Oh, it must be so hard. He's dead. Oh. Because Stop. he's not his favorite. Because he's a pedophile. Ooh. <laughs> you kept digging. Don't make it awkward. You kept asking. I'm aware of the irony of that. <laughs> 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 In case you're struggling. Oh, Dad, the cafe's going well. Oh, no, 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 this is not for work. It's just for you. Mm. Thanks. You see him shine every time They're that so lady's sweet not there. Together. Yeah. But you're not being naughty. <laughs> no. Why? Oh, because, <laughs> I guess... Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make better choices. It doesn't matter. Just being better for her. Oh. What does that mean? I can. Apple juice. Yeah. I. Shut the fuck up. I don't even care. I <laughs> am so intrigued to see how you're going to make this whole evening about yourself. <laughs> She's not even talking. Positive energy takes work. Yes. In the last six months, I've excelled. I take all the negative emotions and just bottle them and bury them, and they never come out. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a healthy girl. You're being so quiet. Why aren't you saying anything? Leave her alone. She's trying not saying? to start anything. Excuse me. Oh, do you think she needs anything? No. 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 Girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, girl. I see you working. That 
was meant to be a bedroom present. A what? Uh, a present that you open in your bedroom alone. I don't need that. <laughs> I was kind of mad at the dad. <laughs> Claire? Okay. It's been ages. You pissed off or were you doing a poo? <laughs> was it the waitress that got hit? Fuck it. I think that might have been the waitress, yeah, on the floor. <laughs> have you got a sanitary towel? Oh, no, but um, but I know a waitress who would jump on that request. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at it! I'm not looking at your period, just take this! You have a miscarriage or something. It's not a period, it's a fucking miscarriage, okay? Oh, no. No, just get your hands off my miscarriage! It's mine. It's mine. Oh. No. Come on, promise. It's all good, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> Time I still oh, really? haven't gone. I have. Yeah, I can understand. It's a wonderful place to buy. Yeah. Because you and Mrs. Fulton work better than other blonde women. <laughs> yeah, I don't like all the water. I'd love it if you're all. Sorry, darling. No. Let's oh, for God's sake, we'll stop next. it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm. Uh. Uh. Don't do it, flea bag. Is it? No. She's worried, but she doesn't know no. what to do. Here we go. Sorry, I just what's had to. Happened? Nothing's happened. What's happened? Something's happened. Come on. I'm supposed to do I just, no I just had a little. Plan for oh my God, I can't stand that guy. A uh, little oh. miscarriage. What the fuck? Uh, How far gone were you? Uh, you should go to the hospital. Whose well, was it? Uh, no, maybe leave that for later. Was it the tooth man? Hospital, no. <laughs> that, did you see her? Oh, I hate her. I'll pay you back. What, what, do you need someone to go with you? No, I think I'll just deal with this in my own insane, irrational, anal way, if that's okay. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Stop! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what? Just, you know, it's like a goldfish out the bowl sort of thing. If it didn't want to be in there, it didn't want to be in there. Something wasn't right. What? That's your husband. You just... uh, either way, she got her spotlight. Oh ah! my god. Yes! Ah! So I did imagine it was him who did it, but I I, I didn't know that it was going to go down like that. <laughs> Gave oh, her an I'm uppercut. so glad you punched him in the face. He's a little bitch. He deserves more. Dang, man. We ended the season, started the season. Bloody face. Claire? There's a little twist. Did you dump Martin? Or not dump him, but just like do your own thing? I hope she did. Can you take us to the nearest hospital, please? Yep. Fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Claire, at least you know she cares, despite all, all the drama no. and bullshit you guys got going on. The priest is quite hot. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> I love this show! Yeah, ah! me too. This show is really, ah, really so good. So good. You know, I... You know what I'm, I I thought it was gonna end on her walking, but I actually really appreciate that it ended in a taxi on the first episode, exactly like the first season did. Oh my god, this show is so good! I cannot stand that bitch, uh, Harry. That's his name. I think it's. Oh it's, my god. I, I think it's Henry, because I think Either Harry way. was the boyfriend. Harry Henry. I'm sorry, we're really bad with names, but. Uh, <laughs> I barely remember like, my own. It's fine. Like the curse is just like I couldn't hold him in because I can't stand that guy. I can't stand the mom. And they both drive me nuts every time they're on screen. Yeah, they're really freaking annoying. But I will say that I I feel like you can feel the tension too mm -hmm. when you're watching the show. Like you feel the anxiety that they have. You feel the need for her to step out several times while she's over there, you know, getting her cigarettes in. Yeah. Um, I really, really love the chemistry that her and that priest do to have. I'm, I'm sure since she said this is a love story, I'm wondering if it's gonna be her and the priest or if the love story is going to be her and her sister growing together and i hope that's where it goes as well or maybe we'll get both i wasn't leaning into the love story being with the sister i was thinking in my head oh this is a love story as in a learning to love myself story oh that's beautiful and that's what i, oh, I thought be it was even going better. oh my
my god, that's so good. It could be. Either way, man, it seems like Lee Bag's trying to work on herself. I think that that sad was both super endearing when the dad came in and she was smoking, but also like really sad when she was just like, of all the like, gifts he got this her. Way? Well, not only that, but also that interaction of her being mm -hmm. like, well, well, why are you being different? Like, why aren't you causing any problems? And her response was, well, what's the difference? And then I was just like, oh man. Yeah. That's so sad. Like that just really puts you in her mental space and how are her interactions in her family, like just their di family dynamic, how it is. Mm -hmm. And the worst part is like, he's like so disconnected from his daughter that something like that, like like she said, where it, it does, what's the difference to you? Because he got her counseling sessions when clearly she has been working on herself. That's why we got those flashbacks. Like she is doing better for herself. Yeah. You can see her saying no to the things that have only caused her pain in her past. Mm -hmm. Like, I love that for her. So you see her growing. But no one else around her sees that. Yes. It's, I, I really, feel, really good episode, if this man. whole season is about that family tension like that, then I can understand how it feels like a fever dream because you really do, like with the way, especially like you were saying, those cutaways when she was cutting away to smoking, it's like, damn, like, even in the, the short episode, I feel like even the audience needed to break away from that because you just feel like you could cut the tension with a knife at that table. Yeah. Like you didn't want to even be there with them. And oh yeah. And Harry, Henry, the dude sucks. And like, I don't need like, I, I know we got a comment in, in one of the episodes saying like there was a more, there was a reason why this, the stepmom was the way she was. And it would be a little bit more understandable, but I don't know if I can let whatever her story is go for the way she's acting like she just she like nitpicks everything and always talking about herself it's always a like like the biggest like one of the biggest on-screen narcissists that i've ever been like i can't stand when you open your mouth but besides that like yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm really glad this was a really good first episode i have a feeling the priest guy is gonna be like um like the bank guy from the first season which is a come full circle by the end for the lesson you, you want to know something kind of crazy yeah you want to know who i hate the most who fucking henry harry yeah me too dude i mm -mm. no like i mean i feel like you're going after the mom i'm gonna be honest like Here's the thing, mom's mom's a bitch. <laughs> mom's gonna be a bitch, like you can't help it. But there also is, right, the story behind why she is the way that she is, mm -hmm. right? I feel like I'll have more sympathy for her because I don't think that anyone else's in your family's relationship should have anything to do with your relationship with your kids. So as much as like I like the dad, I also think he's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. If not, he's the biggest problem because he's the one who's not stepping in and saying anything Putting his he foot doesn't, down for his he doesn't even put his foot down for himself mm -hmm. so what makes you think that he would also put his foot down for you know what i mean i don't know man i i know it might seem crazy but like i have i'm more mad at the dad than i am the mom he has these preconceived notions of who his daughter is because of her past mm -hmm. and you could see that he also has not forgiven her yeah you know what i mean in the same way that the sister is but you still see that there is uh, with both of them that he, while it is strained, they're still family. Yeah. The dynamic this first episode is was really intense. And I, <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting to see what happens because I don't feel like this season is going to make... I feel like there's going to be less feel good in this season than the last season. The last season had some nice feel good, like each episode. But this one was just... was all tension. Like there was some cracks, but it was like the cracks of just helping break that tension before you were like i'm so uncomfortable watching this yeah no it was just good yeah. it was just it was really really i i don't know if fun's the word but it had that that type of very go 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 vibe yeah um i don't know man this show is so good i hate henry and i'm very or harry and i'm very dis disappointed in the dad the mom's always been a bitch <laughs> what do you what want to say new? like yeah like i don't i don't really care about that like i'm more concerned about their relationship because you don't need to be motherly to them yeah. they're adults 
it's gonna be what it is and it's probably way far too gone for them to ever be close anyway mm -hmm. especially with how things went down but i'm more disappointed i think in the dad but i'm also wondering if the dad's behavior yes he's also dealing and grieving in in his own way and he's trying to be happy with this new woman mm -hmm. and i can understand him but i'm like also like i'm wondering if there really is maybe something that's health wise that's going on with him so he's willing to deal with her yeah type of thing i don't know man i Ugh, it, it's, I don't know. it's one of those things where i also wonder like has a stepmom said something to him that made that's made him feel i love that you're ready to villainize the, i don't uh, like stepmom. i just, I just don't, don't like but her i don't understand how can i blame the other person when the person who i'm expecting to have my back doesn't have my back yeah you know? i mean i like, i get it from the dad's side 100 percent. i get you i just i can't stand the stepmom and i have like so much more leniency for the dad because i see the way the stepmom walks all over him too and well, he yeah, lets it happen also... and so that's kind of his fault as well but so it's like almost like he set the precedent to just allow it to happen it's like oh he could do it to me he could do it to my or she could do it to me she could do it to my daughters like he has no no separation there but but still like the way she does it just makes me feel like she has she has him by the balls over something and i don't feel like it's love i feel like it's just loneliness for oh him. i'm sure Oh, de definitely, 100%. That's exactly what I think it is for him. We can go on and on about it. We could talk about this like show him. a lot, guys. Like, we like this show a lot. And if you heard our off-camera discussion from the Sir season, like, we would talk for hours after we were done recording and gave you new stuff. Like, it'd be a whole-ass podcast. We story. argued. <laughs> we argued about, like, things that we thought happened but didn't happen. Like, this show gets us talking every time, and we yeah. enjoy it every time. So those of you guys who are excited for it, thank you so much. We hope you're here along for the journey. We're excited to get into more episodes. That pretty much wraps up our thoughts for this episode, guys. If you want to go ahead and expand or share your thoughts about today's episode, let us know how excited you are for the rest of the season don't forget to drop a comment down below and also don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe especially that like especially that subscribe they really do help us out let us know that you're enjoying the content and that you want us to see more fleabag or more shows by phoebe waller in the future i think you're or, yeah phoebe waller bridges <laughs> but other than that guys we love you and we will see you in the next one peace peace